St. Nicholas Serbian Orthodox Church, Indianapolis, Indiana, Church School Lesson, The Road to Pascha, Part 1. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, children. In this lesson, we will talk about the first part of our road to Pascha. The road to Pascha, or Easter, begins with our journey through Great Lent. This journey leads us towards Great and Holy Week and ultimately to Pascha, the resurrection of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Let's take a minute and talk about the word Pascha. Pascha is the word Orthodox Christians usually use for Easter. Easter is the word that many people in our country use when talking about Christ being risen from the dead. If you hear one person use the word Easter and another person use the word Pascha, just know that we are all talking about the same event, the resurrection of Christ from the dead. The Holy Fathers of the Orthodox Church created a yearly church calendar that leads Orthodox Christians through the entire life of Jesus Christ. During Great and Holy Lent, the time during which we prepare for Holy Week and Pascha, the Church Fathers placed specific days for us to help us on our journey. These days are the following. The first Sunday of Great Lent is the Sunday of Orthodoxy. On this day, we bring our icons to church. Together, we walk or process around the church, holding our icons high and proclaiming the truth of icons. The second Sunday is St. Gregory Palamas. St. Gregory was one of the Holy Fathers of theology and monastics. He is a great saint. The third Sunday is the veneration of the Holy Cross. This Sunday is halfway through Great and Holy Lent. Today, we bow down before Christ's cross. The fourth Sunday is St. John of the Ladder. St. John was a great monastic. He wrote a book called The Ladder. This book is about how we can grow towards God during our lives by the way we live and the choices we make every day. The fifth Sunday is St. Mary of Egypt. St. Mary is another great saint. She led a life of repentance for her many sins. After much hard work, St. Mary was accepted by God into heaven. Finally, we celebrate Lazarus Saturday. This is the day we remember Jesus bringing his good friend Lazarus back to life. This day reminds us that if we become Jesus' friend too, he will also raise us from the dead. Palm Sunday is the first day of Great and Holy Week. On this day, we celebrate Jesus entering into Jerusalem as a king. People were happy to see him. They welcomed him using palm leaves and singing to him, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All of these days of Great and Holy Lent help us prepare for our Lord's plan to make us healthy again. His plan to restore us to how we used to be when he first created us in paradise. Did you know, however, that this plan of salvation starts before the birth of Christ with the Feast of Annunciation? Christ's plan is completed on the day of his glorious resurrection, on Pascha. However, before reaching Pascha, the Lord had some hard days to face. Days where he showed and proved to us how much he loves us. Our Lord had to go through hard days to prove he really loves us and to bring us his and our resurrection. Just as Christ did, we have to work hard in our lives. Of course, we must work not only in our schools, but every day and in everything we do. This hard work shows that we love God and love each other. This is the way we can reach God and let him give us our resurrection when the time comes. A perfect example of this hard work is the life of St. Mary of Egypt, the great saint who we celebrate on the fifth Sunday of Great Lent. She worked hard for her salvation by fasting and praying in the desert. In the end, she could do miracles. 
She lived a very happy life close to God. God granted her heaven and the wreath of a great saint. During Great and Holy Lent, we also celebrate the Annunciation of the Mother of God. This is the day Archangel Gabriel told Mary the good news. The good news was that she is going to give birth to Jesus Christ, our Lord. This is the day where the plan of God to save us begins. On this major feast day, we hear the cantors sing, Today is the beginning of our salvation, the revelation of eternal mystery. The Son of God becomes the Son of a Virgin. Jesus proved his love to us every single second of his life. He did this by obeying his mother, by being a good child, and by preaching and doing miracles. One event that showed Jesus' love was when he raised his best friend Lazarus from the dead. Lazarus died when the Lord was away traveling. The Lord arrived at the tomb of Lazarus four days after his friend's death. He asked the tomb to be opened. Then Jesus shouted at his friend, telling him to come out of the tomb. Miraculously, Lazarus obeyed. His family was rejoicing with happiness. Lazarus Saturday marks the end of Great and Holy Lent. At our parish, we gather together for service on this great feast day. We ring bells as we walk out to the willow tree on our property. We sing loudly the Traparian or the hymn of the day by raising Lazarus from the dead before your passion. You did confirm the universal resurrection, O Christ God. Like the children with the palms of victory, we cry out to you, O vanquisher of death, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. This helps us prepare for the next day, which is Palm Sunday. In our tradition, the willow branches that we gathered on Lazarus Saturday are used to represent the palm leaves that were used when Christ entered Jerusalem. Why do we use willow branches instead of palm leaves, you might wonder? The answer is very simple. Palm leaves are very common in the area of the world where Jerusalem is. In the same way, Willow branches are very common in the areas of Serbia, Russia, and other Orthodox countries. Christians use what they have. When there are no palm branches available, we use willow branches. The Lord Jesus Christ knows everything and is everywhere. He knew about the hard days he was about to face in Jerusalem, but he still traveled there. These are the days that Orthodox Christians remember during Great and Holy Week. In the church, we call these hard days the Lord's Passion. Even though our Lord knew what he was facing, he did not avoid it. Why didn't he avoid it? Because he loves you so much. When we look at the icon of Palm Sunday, we see the Lord riding on a donkey. The church tells us that that donkey was a young, wild donkey, which obeyed to carry the Lord into Jerusalem. The wild donkey represents all of our nations that did not know Christ immediately, but eventually accepted the good news from the apostles when they traveled and were baptized like us as Christians. The palm or willow branches represent the victory of Christ's resurrection over death. This day, similarly to Lazarus Saturday, prefigures the joyous resurrection of our Lord to come a week later. In our next lesson, we will continue on our road to Pascha, starting with Holy Monday and making our journey to Christ's resurrection. Each week, we will feature a Bible verse for you to learn and memorize. This week's verse comes from John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.